In this video, we're going to show you how to schedule your FAA knowledge exam, your FAA written exam, on the FAA PSI website. So first, you just want to Google FAA PSI and click on the link. Once you get in, there's an option to create an account. So once you create an account, you're going to need your FAA tracking number that you would have gotten from IACRA for your student pilot account that you registered for. And then you enter your first name and last name before you click continue. Then they're going to want you to register some more information like your birthday, your phone number, you know, your address, citizenship, stuff like that. Once you filled all that out accurately, you'll click on register and then it's going to have you agree to a, you know, a privacy agreement and user acknowledgement thing. So you'll just read through that and then click agree. And then it's going to go back to another user registration page. And this is where it wants you to create an email and a password so that you can get logged in. Once you've created your email and password, it'll have you verify your email, and then it takes you to this multi-factor authentication thing. Now, if you've never done this, it's going to require you to download an application on your mobile device. Now, it lists the different applications here below, depending on you know, the type of mobile device you have, iOS or Android. I recommend the Google Authenticator app. It's pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go ahead and find that app in you know whatever mobile device you have, and you download it. Then you'll want to open the app, and inside the app, there's going to be a plus button on the bottom right. Click that plus button, and then there's an option to scan a QR code. Click that, and it's going to bring up your camera. And then the QR code on the screen on the PSI website, you want to scan that QR code. Once you've done that, it'll automatically add the PSI FAA authentication to your authenticator app, as you can see here. And it's going to have a code. Now, this code will expire with a little timer on the right-hand side. And every time it expires, you'll get a new code. But you want to enter that code into the field here and then click the submit button to two-factor authenticate your login. Once you've done that and your account's all created, it'll take you to the list of exams. Now, it's a really long list, and you want to look for the private airplane or the PAR. So the easiest way to do this is to just do a control F and search for private. And then you can see private pilot airplane PAR for recreational and private pilot. You'll want to select that test. Now here, it's going to give you some details to just say, hey, make sure. Now it's not going to require you to pay right away. I know this kind of makes it sound like it. So you can click yes, but it's just saying once you pay, there are no refunds. So uh, you just want to make sure you have the right test. So then click yes, and then we'll move on to the next step here. So now it's going to ask for some pre-exam data collection. And so it's going to ask for the number of exam attempts. If this is the first time ever, you want to put one. So that's like your current exam attempt will be one because you've never taken it before. Then it's going to ask some information on school or experience. Now, if you are at a flight school and you took your ground school at a flight school and got a certificate from them, most likely from like a accelerated flight school, like a part 141, then you would select school. And if that's the case, you just want to ask them, you know, if they're in the system, the PSI FAA system under school. But most often, like if you have an online ground school or you did self-study or maybe it was a smaller school, like a flying club that did a ground school, you're going to click other. And then it's going to ask you to select an authorization category. Now, if you selected school, you're going to need a certificate of completion from that school. If you selected other, then you're going to need an endorsement from an instructor that says you are eligible for that. So you're going to select other statement or endorsement of eligibility. So for online ground schools, self-study, or even like small ground schools, you're going to select other and other endorsement of eligibility. All right, next it's going to say to select your accommodations, whether you have disabilities or not. So you'll select that and then click continue. Once you've done that, a pop-up is going to appear on rules and procedures of taking the test. Some things of note is they want you there 15 minutes prior to the time you schedule your test. If you're 30 minutes late, you'll forfeit the test and still have to pay for it. Then it talks about you know the required documentation you need. You'll need a valid photo ID with your date of birth, name, signature, and photo on it. And if you're a foreign student, 
Uh, there's a link there of what you can use for documentation to do that. And plus, you'll also need to bring in your endorsement. Then it talks about allowed materials. You know, it's basically an approved E6B, either manual or electronic, can't be programmable, and like a plotter tool and a pencil, pretty much. And then it also talks about prohibited materials and things like that. And then at the bottom, it talks about how you can't cheat. So no cheating allowed. And then it'll want you to click the I understand and agree button at the bottom. Once you've done that, you'll be on your way to scheduling the exam. To schedule the exam, you'll want to find a testing center near you, a PSI testing center. So you enter in your zip code, a radius distance around that you're willing to travel to, and the date range you want to take the test. You'll click on search and up pop will pop all the available sites that have times that you can take the test. So here for this particular zip code example and time range, there's only one location and time. So I can even click on the little you know, address link there and it'll pull up a Google map to show me where that is if I need to know that. And once you've decided you can make it there on that time, you'll select that time slot, click on schedule, then it's gonna have you confirm. You'll click confirm. It'll then take you to the payment page. So now you'll finally pay uh, $175. You'll enter in your credit card information, all that stuff. And then once you click submit, you'll pay. And that is when it is officially scheduled and you'll get a confirmation sent to your email with also a bunch of information that we already kind of went over about the documentation you need, the rules and things like that, as well as the time and address of where you take the test. All right, that's how you do it.